So here's a cool technique that you can use when you're rigging virtually any type of soft plastic bait. And you can use this little trick whether you're using a, a slip sinker or no slip sinker at all. And for this illustration, I'm, got, I'm not going to use the slip sinker. I'm just going to tie a regular hook on. But before I do all that, I'm going to get a little tiny number 8 or number 10 trout hook. And what I want to do is I want to slide that up my line so that the hook point is facing down. And I'm just going to leave that alone for just a second. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie my regular, you know, 3-0, 2-0, 4-0 offset worm hook on my line. Now if I was using a slip sinker, what I would do is tie the slip sinker on or slide the slip sinker up first. And then slide my trout hook on point side down. And then tie my hook on in that order. So I've got my hook tied on, going to trim off the end, and then I'm going to take my plastic bait, which in this case is a Yamamoto Senko. Um, this technique works great when you're fishing with really, really soft baits like a Senko or any one of the other Yamamoto baits because they're, they're very, very soft. Uh, and it'll work for any type of plastic. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to slide my plastic bait up just like I normally would rig it weedless style, bury the hook point back in. And then what I want to do is I want to take that little trout hook that I slid up my line and I'm going to run it all the way down to the bait and I'm going to take that hook point and I'm going to bury it into the head of the worm. So what I basically get is I get a, you know, a weedless piece of plastic. I get that little keeper hook on the head of my worm and by burying the hook point back into the worm, I've snugged it right against the line tie so that it can't slide down. So as my bait starts to get worn out a little bit, as I start to catch a few more fish, um, as that bait starts to get beat up a little bit, I can get a little bit more life out of it, catch a few more fish, and prevent the bait from balling up all around my hook point, you know, which will cost you uh, a few more fish during the course of the day. So one little cool little tip uh, that really helps save your plastic baits and will allow you to catch a few more fish and, and get a little bit more life out of your baits. So try that next time you're rigging up any kind of soft plastic. I'm Mike Del Visco, and I'll see you on the water. And for more bass fishing info, log on to finsandtails.com or like them on Facebook. Fins and Tails, your hot spot for bass fishing stories, videos, people, places, events, how-tos, product reviews, and so much more.